So I'm just taking a look at the actual contest or stage three part of the Pagani uh, event that's ongoing at the moment. I'm just going to see if I can uh, set a time high enough to place into the event and also to collect all those token rewards. But yeah, one thing I will say is the fact that like, yeah, you can see my version of this car is 4000 rated. It's from previous car hunts that were in the game. But yeah, um, this times and the time requirements on this event are very, very tough. So, like, this is more so just to give you kind of an idea. If you've got a 2,900, I think, you unlock the car at, read a version of the car, and you're kind of not getting anything in this, this is just to show you the fact that, like, yeah, if you pump tons and tons and tons and tons of tokens and credits into it, it's still not an easy time. It's not one of those ones where Game Loft just wants you to chuck a little money at the game. But yeah, I would say like the Pagani is one nice car to get. Like I've had it in my garage since there was a previous car hunt that featured it. I think it was at a car hunt or may have been a, another event type uh, set of races. But I've definitely had it for quite a while. And yeah, for an A ranked car, it can move. <laughs> So I, I would definitely recommend people try and uh, chase down all of the free blueprints for it especially and see where it kind of leaves you with unlocking the car. It's like quite nimble at turning and it's got a decent uh, amount of boost capacity. But I will say that one of the things that you could overlook because of possibly the size of this car is when it's moving at speed. Like its cruising speed here is like 234, 235 miles an hour. So yeah, it's definitely one of those ones where if you can get it onto a straight and then just uh, pull out a small bit of a lead over your opponents in multiplayer races and stuff. Like this thing is, yeah, you will dominate because... There's not too many cars that can kind of keep up with. Uh oh. A cat. Hello. Oh god. Yep. So what I find. <laughs> that can really help sometimes in a race. Is if you have a cat leap directly into your face. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, hi, cat. I think my talking woke it up. This cat features in some of my pick rust videos. Oh, pick rust puzzles. Because, yeah, it enjoys to curl up here and say hello. Hello, Summer. How are you doing? Yeah, she sounds quite happy. <laughs> she sounds quite happy to have ruined my run. <laughs> hey, I still get some tokens. So I don't mind. <laughs> Isn't that right? Wait. Here we go. Now featuring more cat. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Of course, this I was just I was thinking this was actually an on offline care. I could have just paused. Oh well, I think this one needs a bit of attention. So I'm gonna go and tend to that. My car is gonna refuel, and oh, you can get a nice shot there of her lovely eye. Just the one. All right. <laughs> yeah, and I'm gonna see if I can tend to this cat. This might go up as a blooper. Because <laughs> my racing is done. <laughs> uh, can I get my mouse? No, not that kind of mouse. The other kind of mouse. Yeah. <laughs> well, drive safe and don't bring cats in a car. 